How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel Make Money Trucking. So there's something that's really been irritating me over the last couple years with everything that's been going on. You guys know what I'm talking about. And that is parts prices, especially uh, in, in the semi-truck market. I mean, I'm sure parts are expensive everywhere for automobiles, pickup trucks or whatever, but especially in my industry, um, semi-truck parts are just getting outrageously expensive for no reason. And I feel like it's kind of a, uh, you know, a scam on the manufacturer side or some deal parts dealer side. So, you know, when, uh, when everything first started, they said it's because of the pandemic, right? And then they said, you know, it's, uh, you know, because of that, we can't make as many parts. And then they said it was, a uh, supply chain issue <clears throat> and uh so then they had to jack up prices and then now their third excuse is uh it's a inflation issue you know so basically you know first it started off with the pandemic then it started off with well supply and demand we have low supply so we had to raise our prices because there's not as much left over of this certain product and then now their excuse is oh well inflation you know everything's going up and this is ridiculous i think that for instance, I've bought in parts in the last year, and since then they are almost doubled, if not tripled, in price. Price, like this is my 2015 uh, Freightliner Coronado, and I just bought a regu a re uh, window regulator for the passenger side. It went out months ago. I'd say at least six months ago. So I went ahead and ordered that. Um, and it was about 140 to 150 dollars, which was already expensive. And then, uh, not long after, my driver side window regulator went out. Same regulator, they're just probably flipped. You know, ones for driver, ones for passenger. The driver one, um, I had just bought a couple weeks ago, 250 dollars. So literally a 50 percent increase. You know, or almost, you know, almost 100 percent increase. And uh, it's just getting it's just getting out of control. It's just getting ridiculous. You know, we can't keep paying these, um, you know, like super inflated prices. And I think they're just making up excuses. You know, they were able to jack the prices up. You know, uh, when everything was going on, when there was short supply and high demand. And I just think that they're just refusing. Now they think they can get that price. So, you know, they, they raised the price they didn't have a whole lot of quantity and there was a supply chain shortage. Well, now that the supply chain shortage is over, I think they're just being greedy and they just don't want to lower the prices back to where they were, or at least lower them a little bit. You know, uh, my, my window wiper switch for this truck, I've bought many of them as they always go out on these Coronados. They're about 40 to $60 roughly. Um, and they might have, they might have even been cheaper than that. Don't quote me on exact numbers, but you know the the principle is correct. I just called uh, to get one, one hundred twenty five dollars. I was like, what the heck? Why is it like almost triple what I used to pay? Oh, we can knock it down to like ninety nine dollars. Uh, so right there, there's already a twenty percent markup from the dealer. So I don't know if this is the dealers doing this, claiming it's a supply, uh, you know, the parts distributors, or if it's just a straight up the parts distributors handing over the cost to the dealers and then, you know, they're, but this has been the case for many different parts. And, uh, you know, it's what's, what's BS about this is, um, when we had true supply chain issues and you couldn't get parts, they weren't super, you know, hyper inflated and overpriced. They might've added a little bit on it, but they didn't add a lot. Now that the supply chain issue is mainly fixed or it's probably, you know, at least 90% there, uh, from where it was before now they're claiming that it is uh, inflation oh everything's just going up and that's that's uh, BS like this is ridiculous you know I think you know something's to be done with you know some price controls or something because you know when everything was going on and there was super short supply of things they weren't this expensive in the last six months everything I've bought has been double or triple the price and I know this because I always, uh, there's very similar parts on my trucks that break over the years. So I've bought in these parts for many, many, many years. And it's just crazy expensive. Um, 
a lot more expensive than it should be. So yeah, I don't know, you know, what needs to be done with this, but it's just ridiculous. So, you know, just be aware out there. A lot of these parts are double, if not triple the price that they were literally one year ago. And these are specifically parts, like I said, the wind regular, I literally bought one six months ago. And the same dealer I bought the other the, the other side from, oh yeah, it's 250 now. Why is it $100 more? Well, everything's, prices on everything's been going up. So it's kind of crazy. It's pretty ridiculous. And I'm pretty pissed off about it because it's just, uh, I don't know if, I think, I don't know if it's just the parts manufacturers being greedy. And, uh, you know, it's just like their government. Once they set a price, they're never going to lower it, you know. So I, I don't know what it is, but something needs to be done about this. Stop the greed. I think that's what it is. It's not, you can't blame inflation for everything. You know, when supply was truly low, you guys weren't overcharging. Now that the supply chain is fixed and you can probably get materials, granted, they probably are a little more expensive than they were two years ago. Um, you know, it is outrageous to be charging 50 to 100 to 150% more, like, you know, double and triple the amounts for these same parts that were, you know, literally half the price that they were about eight months ago. So hopefully something can get done about this. You know, I just wanted to raise awareness for this. Uh, you know, we've got to, you know, start hitting up these parts uh, distributors and these parts manufacturers and going, what the hell? Why are you guys setting your prices so high when the same thing was half the price literally eight months ago, six months ago? I think they're just getting greedy. You know, everybody wants a piece of the pie. Everybody wants a bit of that inflation. You know, they want to, you know, uh, more in their pocket. And I think it's just ridiculous. It needs to stop and we need to... Hopefully something can get done about it. I don't know what we can do about it, but I'd like to try to do something. Um, you know, it's just ridiculous how these guys are just taking advantage of all of us out here. Because it's guys like me that don't make all. You know, we're not. I'm not a big old company that's suffering. You know, I'm. I'm literally. You know, to do the same repairs that I did a year ago is costing me double the amount of. You know, it's double the cost for me to do that. You know, so they're sure passing it down to just like the you know small and the little guys you know the single you know business owners you know that are single owner ops and whatnot but uh let me know if you guys have experienced this and and your uh your makes and models of trucks um am i crazy just is it just freight liners that they're doing this on or is it everything so let me know but um yeah you guys have a good day i'll see you on the next one